Hi, this is Thunder Yi from BorderWorld.com and welcome to our um, second video in our AMD build series. And today we'll be showing you how to uh, run a Crossfire with an AMD APU. Now we're not running two graphics cards, we're actually going to be running the APU with its graphics card built in. And as you can see here, a Gigabyte 6670 uh, graphics card. So this is a 1 Gigabyte DDR3 card. Uh, it says $94 there, but you can get it for about $79 uh, with rebate, comes out less. Uh, you can either pick it up New Newegg or Micro Center. Uh, there, there we You do have your quick start guide in there. You also have your uh, Gigabyte uh, card, um, sorry, not card, CD. This is the card itself. Let's open this up. So this is our card, and you can see here, um, the card um, basically has a DVI port, VGA, and HDMI out. Uh, it's a built-in card here. Now this card does not require an extra power supply. If it did, a uh, power supply source, if it did, we would have to connect it using this cable to our Antec power supply. Now remember, it's, it's very important you have the right power supply in your system because as you add more parts to it your power supply has to be able to handle all the different um, parts you're, you're throwing in there so if say I decide to throw in a 69 uh, if, I, if I just throw in a, a say a 79 79 70 card in there from uh, AMD I would need to most likely use of course a power source and uh, of course my power source supply needs to handle that I'm using the Antec 620 HG HCG, which is the high current gamer, and this is a solid power supply for an APU build, works very well, can handle all the things you throw at it uh, without any stress. So, so here again, this is our, our Gigabyte um, graphics card here. So, you want to take off the protective sleeves here at the bottom, take that out on the ports. Now, you can see that will go here, right there. That's where our graphics card goes. We've taken out the uh, slot space there for it. So we, what we're going to do is basically drop this down. Lock it into place. Fits. No issues. Again, we don't need to plug anything in, so we are good there. All we have to do is take our screw that we took out of there and basically piece this back together. Now remember, if you're trying to run a Crossfire configuration with your APU, there are three uh, AMD cards you can use. You can use a 6450, 50, 6550, or a 6670. Those are the three cards. You cannot use a 6770. That is not allowed. You cannot use that card. Again, those are the, the cards are 6450, 6550, and a 6670. I'm using the 6670. That's the highest card you can use to run a Crossfire configuration with your AMD um, APU. I have the A8 APU in there. I've got the 6670. I'm going to close this up and then we'll show you the software. The crucial step that you need to ensure that you do while trying to do Crossfire and an AMD APU is once you've installed your, um, your dedicated graphics card, either 6450, 6550, or 6670, you need to go to your BIOS, once you restart your system, go to Advanced BIOS Features, enter, go all the way down to Init Display first. It will say PEG, um, depending on the motherboard, but you need to change this to Init Display First on board. If you don't change this, your system will not uh, in, uh, detect that there are two graphics cards. It will only switch to uh, the dedicated cards. It will not detect that there's an onboard card for it to actually do crossfire with it. So you need to change that and then uh, we'll move on to the um, on-screen settings. All right, so once your system restarts, one thing you will notice that if you are uh, connected via your dedicated graphics card, in this case the 6770, um, through the startup uh, process, you will not be able to see your BIOS. Um, it will just be blank. Your screen will be blank, and then Windows will start up. Um, that is something that AMD says they'll try and fix, but we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, to set up uh, dual graphics, so what you need to do is actually you right-click on your screen, your AMD Vision Control Center. You go into that. Zoom in here. So in our Vision Control Center, what you want to do is go into Performance. And in performance, you will have an option 
for give you this better look here dual graphics AMD dual graphics so that's for your dual graphics configuration it's disabled and dual graphics here it shows you APU and GPU which you already have a dedicated G GPU choose to enable and apply Take a second. Or two. And there we have it. It's uh, applied in. And we have dual graphics performance here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some, some quick gameplay. Um, try three in Crisis 2 there and see. Show you guys how it functions and, uh, uh, and dual graphics works. but see it here and if you go back into performance you can actually do uh, graphics overdrive in here change your uh, clock speed and all that fun stuff now this is this has nothing to do with the dual graphics itself but actually this is for your dedicated uh, graphics card so you can actually I increase your clock speed and as well as memory performance and all that fun stuff so uh, just showing you guys that